back with abdomen uh, diseases. So we're going to start with the additive diseases for abdomen. This would be an addition of fluid, an enlargement, an addition of a stone, or possibly infection. Uh, we'll start with the triple A, which is your abdominal aortic aneurysm. This is the enlargement of the aorta. If it bursts, severe bleeding can occur, um, and they have to be um, dealt with very quickly. Be um, life-threatening. Ascites is fluid buildup in the abdomen. This is usually a result of liver disease. Cirrhosis is late stage of liver disease, um, and it's caused by hepatitis and chronic alcoholism. And then your stones. Knowing your medical terminology is helpful here with stones. So if you're given, it might not call it a kidney stone. It might call it a nephrolithiasis um, or a pancreatic stone or a gallstone. So knowing your prefix suffix is helpful for pathology terminology. So knowing where they are and what they're called, and obviously a stone is an, an additive because um, it's adding to the density of. These are two examples of ascites, one adult abdomen and a pediatric side. So remember, ascites is an increase in fluid in the abdom abdomen area. In the adult one, we can sort of see faintly the area of the colon, we can see a little bit of air coming around, but mainly it's sort of washed out and gray um, because it's filled with so much fluid and increased in probably size and density. So this is your additive disease. This is also referred to as low or long contrast, right? A lot of gray is your long scale or low contrast. This example over here is a pediatric abdomen with fluid, you can see the pediatric abdomen um, anatomy here. So stomach and intestines are all midline with the bones. And then from here over is filled with fluid. So this is um, a pediatric example of ascites. Again, it'll be a large abdomen, it'll be more dense, um, and you may need to add or increase your technical factors. For this pediatric, definitely on the adult, you're gonna have to increase your uh, mass for your abdomen this abdomen is going to be more dense because it's heavy with fluid. Here's some examples of stones. So your kidney stones or your nephrolithiasis or renal calculus, or nephrolith. Um, it could be called any of those things, but also where is it located? So here we can see the kidney and a kidney stone here. The um, gallbladder stones or cholelithiasis are going to be in the gallbladder. And then the pancreatic stones, remember the pancreas can go across here. So it could be um, referred to as calculi or the <laughs> pancreolithiasis. Um, so it could be any of those terms and just these are a stone. A stone is hard. A stone is more dense, right? So these are your uh, additive diseases for the abdomen.